Hello, my name's Josh, and I am currently enrolling in Land of School, Web Part 11 Cohort. And one of the projects I did was a NASA Photo Day Challenge, which the minimal viable product was to pull data from an API and display it on the website. I decided to tackle the stretch challenge and add a date picker to dynamically pick a photo from any date ranging from a certain area. I completed this stretch goal and I decided to share how I approached this and how I got it to work. First, I'm going to be showing you the project first and then I'll go deeper into the code and explain the dependencies that you'll need and how to get the project working. As you can see, the website is pulling the data from the API and rendering it on the page. Right here is the date picker. When you click date picker, you can pick any date of your choosing. For example, November 5th. And it updates the image and all the information that the API returns. So looking at the code, um, you're going to need several dependencies. So I'll include those in the project below, including this sandbox right here. So you can look at it afterwards. You're going to need moment, React date time and uh, bootstrap to get the to get it rendered correctly, specifically to date time. There's also a um, React date time CSS file that I'll also include in the project below in case you want to import it into your own project. So for the photo list, you're going to uh, import moment, and that's pretty much the only thing that you'll need. And for the card itself, you're going to import date time. So in order to uh, track the changes of the date, you're going to create a use date for the date. So right here on line eight, you can see the date, set date, and then I'm calling the moment uh, dependency right here, uh, moments.format year, month, day, and this allows it to uh, set it to today's date. So when you open up the website, it's today's date. Um, before I had it as a function that called month, date, uh, year, as three separate variables, and that was it was a bit much. Uh, I looked over the code today and just refactored a little bit to make it easier for you guys to read and for me to write. Once you got the set date and have your year uh, formatted and all that, you're going to then go to your API and at the end of the API insert and date equals and insert the dollar sign in the curly braces and import date there. Make sure that's a uh, template literal so that you can grab the variable right here. You are then going to put in the use effect the date variable right here so that it tracks the changes and re-renders the page whenever it sees that changes. You are then, in order to pass data from the child to the parent, you're going to set the, the set date function as a prop in, to the photo card. So as you can see on line 31, set date is equal to set date. So you will be able to call it in the card. You are then going to call that set date right here, whether you use the uh, um, Deconst array disk deconstructor or um, props dot set date either or will work. I decided to do it this way because it's easier for me. You are then going to insert the date time component and as the value you're going to set as a date so that it re-renders the today's date because when you first do it it doesn't do anything at all it just uh, remains the default date that you set it to. You are then going to set the date format so that it formats it correctly. Um, like I mentioned, or I think I mentioned, the NASA API uses year, month, day, so you're going to reflect that in the code as well. Next, you're going to include time format equals false so that you don't have to worry about the time because by default it includes a time, 12 o'clock, a.m., p.m., all that. Next, include close on select equals true so that whenever you click on the on a date, it closes the box and just doesn't leave it there. Next, this is where most of the logic lies. 
you're going to uh, create a new variable and make that equal to time dot format dot the year month date this will um, dynamically set the format for you before I had it like for the today's date it grabbed the month date and um, year and put those in separate videos and I just concatenated them together this is just simple one line and it's a better refactored code next you're gonna call set date and set it as that variable new date. It will then call set date and update the variable and use effect will run because it sees that date has changed and re-render the page with the new information. And that's pretty much it. Now you can use this method for any component that you have because essentially say you want to pass data from the child to the parent, it, it, it works for any project that has that. All you want to do is set the state for whatever variable you want to change and set it as a prop for a component. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and I'll answer them to my best of my ability. Hopefully this helps you out and I plan to do more stretch challenges and put this uh, put it on my channel so again i hope this guy I hope this helps you out and you guys have a great day